Orange Germont Terry is in hard hit McHenry County where rain has been falling relentlessly all day long. So Germont, how are the conditions there in Crystal Lake? Well, Joe and Erica, here we are at 10 o'clock and we're still experiencing that cold rain that Albert was talking about. And of course, once it hits the ground, it's a different story. Take a look at this. Grass is just crunchy because there is ice everywhere. But come back up. You can see that even cars, if you do not have a garage, it is not just covered on the windshield. The entire car is completely covered with ice. But come on, take another walk with me. I want to show you the real problem. And this is what um, crews have been dealing with throughout the night. Take a look at all the ice on all of these power lines and these power lines are lo getting lower and lower with all the ice underneath. Many people are now taking this ice storm very serious. The rain started falling early Wednesday and it's been a constant downpour turning the shower into ice. The dangerous conditions left branches ice coated. In Arlington Heights, the winds toppled a huge tree onto a garage. There was an SUV inside, but luckily no one was inside it. While plow and south trucks were out early to keep the roads passable, there was little crews could do near Buffalo Grove when a huge tree snapped, blocking four lanes of traffic. Our neighborhood's all down right now. We actually had a tree fall on an ambulance, so we're going home staying put by our fire. We live in Oakwood Hills. The trees are falling all around us. We've been trying to help the neighbors out. This group of friends discovered just how serious the ice storm was when power lines covered in ice knocked out power to this entire shopping center in Cary. For a store to go out, you know it's pretty serious. It flickered once or twice. I was expecting for a generator to kick on, all the lights to turn on, but nah. The Jewel and other stores forced to shut down early, leaving many people to take heed to this ice warning. They said it was gonna be light ice. This is not light light ice by any means. It's crazy, it's crazy. There's a lot of a lot of ice everywhere. And this is the type of ice that, again that you have to take serious. Take a look at mailboxes. Ice covered. You can't even open it. That's how bad it is. Don't want to pull it over here. But again, this is what people are dealing with here in Crystal Lake. Roads again, let's take a quick look at them. They're very passable because again, the salt trucks and the crews have been salting them, but it's the private lots, your sidewalks, and also your uh, front driveway that you're going to see the real slick spots. Reporting live here in Crystal Lake tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. All right, Jermont, thank you for taking us through that. The winter storm knocking out power to thousands of people across our viewing area right now. ComEd is trying to fix more than 2,000 active power outages with the northern suburbs being hit particularly hard. That's left more than 110,000 ComEd customers without service. And here is a live look at the roads tonight. The Mobile Weather Lab is in Palatine, the northwest suburbs, as we mentioned, getting hit hard. This is uh, near Arlington Heights, a little north of Schaumburg as well. The roads clear now, but definitely you can see that sheen, which makes Makes you nervous if you're heading out. Be careful if you're driving tonight. The massive winter storm disrupted thousands of flights across the country today. Nationwide, 1,700 were canceled. Here in Chicago, 154 flights were canceled at O'Hare and 46 canceled at Midway. The first alert weather team will, of course, stay on top of the dangerous weather conditions. CBS News Chicago is always streaming. Find us on the news and opinion page of Pluto TV and through the CBS News app on Fire TV and Roku.